welcome back to our uh, visual studio programming lesson today we are doing lesson two i just want to show you how to open the solution or the project that you saved when you started so during our lesson two we are going to learn on how to put code behind our interface so before we can do that if you have created a project and you want to open it later you just have to find the visual studio 2008 or visual studio depending on the version that you are using folder that folder of the visual studio in your documents or wherever you have you have saved you will find that inside that folder as indicated here on my screen there are subfolders which are also automatically created so we are going to open the one that says projects i just opened it now you recognize calculator app that was our first lesson i'm going to open calculator app and then inside calculator app we find calculator app.sln which means solution so when i double click calculator app.sln file it will open a project that we all recognize so in case if you don't see this form displaying after double clicking calculator app.sln you you will right click or double click here on the right hand side where it says form one then this form will appear so mine al already appears so let's learn about coding so we spoke during lesson one that the two text boxes will contain two numbers and you will click one of these buttons then the answer will come on this label so depending on what you are doing the answer will be different in this label then this button clear all will be used to clear everything that we used to to calculate and the answer that we obtained so every time when you put a code on your form or you program your form you have to go to the specific object or the control or a button or a text box or anything that you want to put a code behind it you double click it so let's start with understanding our objects first so we are going to start by putting a code to add two numbers so we you need to firstly find out what is the name of the first text box so if i click text box one i check the properties on the right i'm going to find out what is the name of this text box because in the code you are going to refer to this text box with its name so you scroll down to verify to find where it says name so that you can find out what is the name of the text box so as you see there it's indicated that the name is text box one so when you click the second text box here once you find out also there on the properties then you will see this is text box two and then you click the button add you look at its name there on the properties then the name of that button add is button one so it is not button add the add is just the text add it is just a label or a a temporary indication that this button will be used to calculate using an addition method but the actual name is button one and then this label when i click it i realize that its name is label three so this means that i have text box one text box two button one and label three so now i go to my button add to put a code to talk to text box one text box two and label three so i double click the add button 
then it will take me to another layout where I have to put the code so what happens here when you do coding you are going to start by referring the code to a form that you are actually talking about so when you say me dot the me means the current form the code me dot it means the current form so if i'm going to interpret it i will say current form label 3 label 3 dot text equals 2 so what happens here is that you are saying um so this is label 3 i'm just going to correct this label 3 label 3 label 3 dot text equals to so what happens is that the text that will come inside label 3 is the answer that comes from the text box 1 added with the text inside text box 2 so because you are going to add the two values you start by VAL means value and then you open a bracket so you are saying the value inside me dot text box two, uh, text box one dot text then you want to add with the value inside the current form text box two dot text So what will happen here is that the answer that will come in label 3 is because you have added the value. I'm going to highlight this so that you understand. The value inside text box 1. So here you have to put 1. 1 as a number. Text box 1 dot text plus the value inside text box 2 dot text then when they are added together they will give you the results in label 3 okay so let's run this and see how what will happen how do you run your project you click the small green button there that says start debugging when i click here you will see that your project will come your form will come as a an example of a running app then if i say 70 and then there I put 20 we know that the answer must be 90 so when I click add then my answer there says 90 so if you want to test it we can change this because it's running live I say 100 plus 50 we know that this answer must change to be 150 if I click the button add it will change and say 150 okay so if I now if you click clear all it will not do anything because there's no code inside this for now okay so i'm just going to stop the debugging by clicking the close button there and then i'm going to go back to my form which is not running and put a code an under another object so i'm going to click uh, form one design and then now i'm going to put a code that will clear everything that i would have calculated so i'm going to double click clear all and then i will say me dot text box one that is dot text equals to then you put a, quot a quotation and then you close it okay so if i press enter i can do the same thing for text box 2 me dot text box 2 dot text dot text equals to i open and close 
and then I will go and say me dot label three dot text equals to a point open and close just like that so if I run just to test if this code will work and then I say 85 plus 5 we know the answer should be okay, let me say 85 plus 15 the answer should be 100 so if I click add there the answer is 100 if I click clear all all my information is disappearing so it means I've got add button and clear all button working. So the same thing happens if you want to subtract, you will do the same code, but you will put a division sign or a subtraction sign or a multiplication sign, depending on what you're doing there. Okay. So I'm going to close the running form and go back to form one VB design so if you are going to put a code for subtracting i can just double click there subtract and then the same format of the code that we've used to add i can just copy and go under the portion of the form of button 2 and paste but i know here this is for subtract okay then I go to form one design then I go to divide double click then I paste what I copied then I, I can put a division sign there. it's a slash from the numerical keypad then I go back to form one VB dot design then I go to multiply double click then I paste the code again then here I can put an asterisk which is representing multiplication so all my form um, buttons are filled with codes or co my coding is complete so if I run my calculator app and say um, 80 let me change my numbers let's say 200 and then here I say 50 if I add these two numbers, my answer will be 250 because they are added together. If I click subtract, it will give me 150 because 200 minus 50 is 150. If I click divide, it will say 4 because 200 divided by 50 is 4. If I click multiply, it will say 10,000 because 200 times 50 is 10,000. If I click clear all like I did now, all my controls are empty because I've put a code there to clear all all of them thank you very much for watching I hope you will also tune in during lesson 3 to learn more about new coding thank you